Welcome to Walls Court Farm. My name's Susie and I'm the principal here at this brand new school, which is at the heart of a brand new community. Walls Court Farm opened in September and we have 50 reception learners. This is Noodle, our school dog, and our grommet. And the grommet was painted by our learners in the summer whilst the building was still in construction. So we've welcomed 50 reception learners this year and the school is on the border of South Gloss and Bristol and it's part of the Cabot Learning Federation of Schools. So Walls Court Farm Academy um, welcomed the reception children in September. They had a staggered start and they're now all in full time. They're in Oak Learning Zone having a fantastic learning experience as we speak. In terms of the curriculum at Walls Court Farm, it's a really clear balance of child initiated learning, so really good outstanding early years practice combined with um, really clear balance of basic skills. So supporting the children to really think about themselves as learners, learn the key skills that they need in terms of early reading, early mathematics, early writing skills, and also give them that sense and that passion and excitement for learning. So the curriculum is formed of a series of questions, um, inquiry curriculum, um, really thinking about exploring questions that mean something to the children in their local, national and international context. So right from the age of four, the children are learning about the world around them, thinking first about the community in which they live, and then the city, and then further afield. Um, so the school is part of the Cabot Learning Federation of Schools, and with our other ten schools, both primary and secondary in the Federation, we're really thinking about how can we offer the learners at Moores Court Farm and across the Federation the most outstanding opportunities for education to really set them up for the future. The building itself is still in construction phase. Um, the school will grow as the learners grow, so our reception children will move up through the school and we will have 420 pupils by 2020. Um, the building at the other end is being constructed as we speak. The children know that and they're really excited and interested to see how the learning space grows around them. Uh, the building is made up of a range of open plan um, spaces for that child initiated exploratory kind of education. Uh, some of the principles of Reggio Emilia, so really thinking about exploring learning and inquiry questions. But then there are also spaces around the building to use for small group, one-to-one, -one, classrooms. So we're fully, fully fur furnished for all sorts of learning experiences here at Walls Court Farm. We've got a community cafe, which is just over here, where we have our family dining experience, and the staff and the pupils all eat together and share special time thinking about enjoying food and talking and sharing that dining experience. Uh, we also have, will have a large hall which will fit all of our children in, so 420 pupils by 2020, all in the large space, gathering together as a community. Now we are a community of learners in a brand new and growing community around us here um, on the Cheswick Park Estate. So we're a school at the heart of the community and that's what we're really, really passionate about. We're welcoming the community in, we're thinking really carefully about ways that we can link with our community. So we've got very strong links with the University of West of England. We have a care home opposite, so we have a strand of our learning all around intergenerational learning experiences for the children. And it's really supporting them to think about themselves as learners at the age of four, but also their longer term journey in terms of learning and themselves thinking about 21st century learning for their future careers. So the education that the children are engaged in now, that balance of the enriched inquiry curriculum, the learning skills and the basic skills will equip them really well to move on through the school onto secondary phase and then into the wider, the wider world with all those skills and experiences behind them. Um, as I said, we're part of the Cabot Learning Federation of Schools, so that gives the children and the staff a fantastic opportunity for collaboration, to really think about those outstanding experiences for the learners, for the staff, and really making Walls Court Farm, a brand new school, into a fantastic outstanding educational experience for our learners. We're really excited that we've got children in the learning environment, it's buzzing in there, really exciting, um, and we're really looking forward to meeting new pupils ready for September. My name is Steve Bain and I'm the, I'm the Director of Provision at the CLF Studio. The CLF Studio started about five years ago after a brief conversation with my principal when he gave me the task of reducing exclusions down to 0%. We identified that a number of students required extra support that the school couldn't necessarily provide within the main building. The idea came up that we could 
work with students providing basic core subjects like English, Maths, Science, along with um, project-based type work, uh, like for example the Prince's Trust, a lot of PSHE, and also our own ART programme, which is aggression replacement training, uh, which is like an anger management programme. The idea was that students would come out to the project, work with us for a period of time, and if they met all their targets, they would be entitled to come back in for a day a week in school. If that went well, they would then come in for two days a week, and so on and so on until they were back full time. As I said, the provision has been going for five years, and we initially started with years eight, nine, and ten. Um, two years later, we decided or we identified the fact that some year 11 students found that year very, very difficult. The studio works in much smaller numbers, normally only 10 to 14 students in a room. Um, so we started to provide a year 11 project. Some students would come down full time for the year, some students come down for little blocks. And we're really proud that in the two years that we've been doing this, each student that has left the studio has had at least two destinations to move into. Uh, we also then work with the academies to ensure that any students that fall out of those areas, um, which are our neat students, are picked up and more support is offered after they've left. Two years ago, we also identified the need that several students moving into secondary schools, into year seven, were struggling and that maybe we needed to work with the students at primary school age. So we launched a studio for year five and six, um, and we're now currently working with five of the CLF primary academies. We have detached workers that go in and offer support um, through one of the new initiatives, which is providing support through Thrive, um, and one-to-one -one support for disengaged students. Sometimes students come and spend time at the studio for extra support as well. Um, and we've worked with several students below years four and five in the last two years, enabling schools to help get statements for their students and move them on into the right um, schools or accommodation that would benefit those students. I think that the studio is a really safe, secure environment for students and I think that's what they really enjoy about it. All if you talk to students, they say that they feel safe. Attendance nearly always increases. Uh, we're really proud to say that since we've been running, 42% of, 42 of our students have accessed mainstream education again. Um, that number would probably be higher if you took into account the students that maybe are accessing maybe two or three days a week. Um, so I think it's just really important to, to, to summarise that we are part of the Federation and work very closely with the Federation and the Federation schools. Um, offering support and emotional well-being to these students, ensuring that they gain skills not only for their school life but for the rest of their lives. So welcome to Bristol Met, my name's David Spence, I'm the Vice Principal here and I'm currently um, fulfilling the role of, of the Acting Operational um, Manager of the site in Sally Alps' absence, she's the Principal and she's on maternity leave. So Bristol Met, in a few words, Bristol Met is, is an incredibly dynamic, incredibly interesting and engaging multicultural academy set in the heart of fish ponds. Um, we've been on a massive swift and uh, very challenging improvement journey where we've taken the school from uh, barely satisfactory a few years ago to an officially Ofsted good rating in 2012 and we haven't stood still since then and our ambition I think it's shared, I'd like to think it's shared by every member of staff teaching and non-teaching and every student is that we want to be an officially Ofsted rated outstanding academy as soon as we can. Um, we know that to do that we need to improve attainment and improve exam results yet further. Our 2013 scores we were reasonably pleased with at 47% 5 ASEM. The, the CLF's own targets for us are, are rightly challenging uh, at 60% 5 ASEM. We're confident we're going to get incredibly close to that. So Bristol Met, it, it's putting excellence at the heart of everything it does. We're particularly strong in sports. 
Uh, our performing arts is, is an increasing strength of what we do. We're a languages specialist college with 43 languages spoken amongst our students and our staff. So we have, we have incredibly strong pastoral relationships. You know, that's the beauty of being a reasonably a small school. Uh, we know that the school is going to grow. And, and for the first time in year seven, we know that the, the numbers are going to be almost full. So I think we're on the verge of, of, of real change, real positive change towards making the, the school generally outstanding across everything we do. Hello, I'm Gemma Jackson and I'm the head teacher or principal of Minerva Primary Academy in Bristol. The school is now part of the Cabot Learning Federation and I joined the school as head teacher in September 2011, so saw the transfer of the school into academy status and joining the Cabot Learning Federation formally take place. I'm really proud to be head teacher of this school. This school serves a very diverse community. Our children are absolutely wonderful. All of the children, all of the staff on our team are wonderfully committed, passionate, dedicated and highly supportive of the children in our care. Our parents also speak of the care that the children receive. Our children speak of a family feel. They describe that everyone in the school respects each other and they describe the fun learning that the teachers enable to take place in our school. We have very, very high aspirations of all of the children that we teach. It's about the children being empowered in terms of their self-esteem to be able to make choices but also have to the skill to make choices for their future as well. We're a, we're a school that is rapidly improving. Last year we were very very proud when Ofsted came and identified the good progress that we were making towards our targets from the previous inspection. They highlighted the typically good uh, teaching profile across the whole school and we're working hard to even improve on that, this uh, typically good profile even further. We do have good and outstanding teaching in our school. We have a, a query based curriculum in our school and this is linked to skills development but it also takes into account the interests of the children. As you can see I'm in the early years part of the school and this is really where the learning starts. We, we start with our learners as young as three at Minerva Primary Academy and I think this just you know, encapsulates the Cabot Learning Federation vision of a uh, collaboration for outstanding achievement, the 3 to 19 vision that we are a federation now who try to do our best for, for children throughout their whole um, education. I'd love you to come and visit us in the school, so if you'd like to come and see the good work that's taking place, please just, please just contact us. Thank you. Hello, my name is Phil Bevan, I'm head teacher at Hannam High School. I've been in post for just over a year now. First thing I'd like to talk to you about are the people in the school. The young people in the school are really engaging and bright, positive young people. The staff here are professional, are very loyal, very committed. We also have a resource base at the school, just over my shoulder here, which is uh, a unit for students with learning and communication difficulties who um, add real value to our school. So we're a fully inclusive 11 to 18 comprehensive school. When I was appointed this time last year, just over a year ago, I was lucky enough to be in the position where Sir David Carter was appointed as my mentor and my coach. Um, this has given me huge confidence through his guidance um, and his support over the last year and it's opened up the Cabot Learning Federation in terms of the teaching school and the opportunities for us to collaborate and seek out that kind of support. This means that it's um, embedded uh, enormous good practice into um, our own school development, empowered teachers and through collaboration we realise that um, our school journey is one that can be accelerated. This last year we've had an absolute focus on student progress particularly around pupil premium, teaching and learning, there's been a relentless pursuit of, of excellence. And again, um, going back to a quote from Sir David Carter who said that we recognise that the school was on a clear success journey, uh, the joining Cabot Federation and working with Cabot Federation would accelerate or rapidly accelerate that progress. So when the opportunity arose Later in the year, for us to formally join with Cabot Learning Federation, it was a fairly straightforward choice for myself and the governors. Um, do we want to improve the opportunities for young people in this area? Um, and that's an obvious question, isn't it? Of course we do. So therefore, we are currently on a fast track um, academy conversion. Um, from September the 1st, all things working out, then we will become Hannam Woods Academy, which is a very exciting development.
for the school. Welcome to John Cabot Academy. My name is John Angel. I've got the privilege of being the principal here at this outstanding academy as part of the Cabot Learning Federation. Um, we consistently get 72% of the children getting 5A stars to sleep with English and Maths. Um, we are consistently oversubscribed for our 160 places for students. Um, there's a strong emphasis here on looking after the whole student and student care and there's an influence on working with business and um, with technology in terms of enhancing young people's learning. Um, we believe that the welfare of the student is at the centre of what we do. We take great pride and care in looking after our students because we know when they're well looked after, when they feel well cared for and part of a school that looks after them, they will then develop and perform really well academically. Um, it's a tribute to the staff and the students the amount of hard work and effort that goes on, the amount of creativity that can be seen around the academy in terms of the artwork, the performances, the, the drama, music performances that I've seen in my last 12 months here as, as principal have been some of the highest I've ever seen, any, certainly anywhere in a school and sometimes professionally and it's been a privilege to, to be part of those and to watch those. Um, we provide fantastic opportunities both in sport and in science and in languages for students to show their best potential. So whatever skills and talents that you feel your children have, um, we know we can meet them here at this academy. We're part of the Cabot Learning Federation, part of one of the 12 schools now in this area that has responsibility for about 6,000 children in, in North West Bristol in their education and we see our role as being part of that journey between 3 and 19 um, in terms of making sure that young people can achieve their potential and move on. Um, if you want more details, please feel free to have a look at our website. Thank you very much. Welcome to Bristol Brunel Academy. My name is Dr Dan Nichols and I started here as principal in September 2012. This is a fantastic place, a fantastic building and some fantastic staff working here to make sure that students achieve what they need to achieve. Um, we're set on achieving five really clear destinations over the next few years to make sure the academy becomes outstanding. Uh, the first destination is around uh, teaching and making sure the experiences that students have within classrooms are really enriching, very creative, but make sure that every student makes the progress that they need to make. The fifth destination is around uh, the right to teach and the right to learn and we work very hard at making sure that students develop personally uh, and that they aspire to achieve great things in their future. We have a really strong pastoral structure. The year teams spend a lot of time with individuals making sure that they're really focused on their learning and on making progress. A third destination is around leadership and making sure that leadership extends right the way down through the school, through the students, so that we all take ownership for improving the academy and making sure everybody achieves what they need to achieve. We believe very much here that students have much more ability than they realise and much more influence than they know and we work through assemblies to make sure that they realise their potential so that they um, make sure that they use all the possibilities and the opportunities that are within the academy uh, to be more than they think they are. I think this is an amazing place to work and an amazing place to learn. It would be fantastic if you wanted to, to come and visit the Academy. You will be very welcome to come and have a look around to see the progress that we're making and what such a fantastic Academy this is. Thank you. Welcome to Bath Community Academy. It's my privilege as the principal of this academy to welcome you at what is an exciting time for both the students and staff in this building. The school has just become co-educational and so now we have girls in the building as well as boys which presents a really appropriate balance. We spent a lot of money and are continuing to spend money in this first year at improving the infrastructure around the academy to bring the building up to standards for the learning in this century. 
You can probably see behind me three really important words, respect, friendship, and excellence. And they are the, the words that underpin the ethos of this new academy. We have split the students up into vertical tutor groups, and so within their tutor groups they are split into these three communities with community leaders who spend a lot of time in assemblies developing these themes to ensure that these words don't just sit on the walls around the academy but become something that the students experience on a daily basis. Our vision for the academy is to provide an environment which is sustainable where young people can really learn what it means to flourish in life, to be adults that thrive in society. And so my invitation to you would be to feel free to come up to the academy whenever you would like to, just for me to give you a tour around the place to discover what's going on here and to find out about what makes Bath Community Academy such an exciting place to be. Hope to meet you one day. Thank you. Welcome to Kings Oak Academy. My name is Ian Frost and I am the principal at Kings Oak. Uh, and I want to just spend a few minutes telling you about the vision that we have for all of our students here, uh, the goals that we're working towards achieving, uh, and how we're working with the Cabot Learning Federation to support all of our students. The vision that we have is that each student uh, can achieve their potential and that with the right amount of support uh, and challenge, all of our students will do well at King's Oak uh, and can achieve their best. I'm really excited with the progress that our Year 11s and our Year 13s have made this year. Uh, and we know that because of their hard work and the support and challenge of their teachers during the course of the year, that when they come in in August and open their exam certificates, uh, we're really optimistic and excited about how uh, they will be doing uh, and how that will set them on their journey for next year. We work with the Cabot Learning Federation very closely uh, and the, the group of academy schools uh, have a, a really collaborative approach to improving the quality of teaching and learning across all of the schools. Lots of colleagues uh, share experience and expertise in working together uh, and in training each other so that the the experience of outstanding teaching and learning that happens in each of the classrooms across the academies can be better and better and that can have a real impact on each student and their experience in their own academy. We also have within the Cabot Learning Federation uh, teams of students working together uh, and developing student leadership and student responsibility and so there are opportunities for groups of students of different ages to experience student leadership, to experience uh, working with younger children and mentoring them in terms of their academic targets. Uh, and that's having a really uh, ambitious uh, impact across the academies and, and developing a sustainable approach to improvement, uh, which is a really exciting feature of what's happening here at Kings Oak 2. We feel uh, that after the first year of working within the Cabot Federation, uh, there's a real impetus, uh, a real energy for change and for improvement uh, it's a really exciting place to be uh, and uh, we're really excited about how our students are doing both our year 11 and our year 13 exam students but also students who are moving through the school and, and moving towards taking exams too. Hi, my name is Tony Searle. I'm principal of Hans Price Academy in Western Supermare. At Hans Price we believe in achievement for all. Regardless of start point, regardless of background, it's about the fulfilment of individual potential. To do this, we need to provide excellent opportunities both inside and outside the classroom. And we have a dedicated team of staff who are committed to the children who attend our academy and in our wider community. We believe in strong partnerships with staff, parents and the wider community contributing to what we do here. We'd love to share our work with you. And if you'd like to visit us, please contact us at the academy. Hello, my name is Duncan Drugshank, I'm principal here at the Bedford Primary Academy. We're set in um, lovely fields, over 100 trees on site on the edge of the River Froome, or at least it's down in the valley below us. Uh, it's a great place to work and be. The building's 10 years old, uh, we've got 450 children on site, and since I've been here, it's my fourth year now, we've been working really hard on making sure that every single moment of the day is fully engaging for the children. 
every lesson, every day, every subject. And the results are really good. The children are doing really well in their lessons, progress really strong, and we're really proud of the results and proud of what we're doing with the children. The children really love coming to school, the behaviour is very strong, very good. Um, I'm very happy, uh, welcome to a chance to show you around. If you ever want to visit school, you can come see every class, uh, just give school a ring, it'll be great to see you. We're up in Stapleton, up in the, uh, the Bakebrook Estate. Thanks. Bye bye. Hello, my name's Claire Carter and I'm the leader of the Cabot Learning Federation Teaching School Improvement Team. Um, the CLF Teaching School started in 2011 and our early plans were built around the delivery of CPD and initial teach training across the Federation. Um, we saw the teaching school very much about being the vehicle for the delivery of a number of priorities that had been hard to glue together to form a cohesive co whole until then. Um, we were in the first cohort of designated national teaching schools um, from the National College um, and they identified six key areas for teaching schools to work on, known as the Big Six. Um, and over the past three years, uh, we've made three of these a uh, priority for the teaching school work. Um, and these are a focus on initial teacher training, um, school to school support and leadership development as our main themes. And why do we do this? Because we believe that the Cabot Learning Federation needs a pipeline of typically good teachers coming through um, and excellent leaders to provide us with the succession planning that we need. Um, and we hope that this will provide future support for our academies. Um, we've really embraced the school direct uh, policy and we recruit around 30 teacher trainees, uh, both primary and secondary, every year. And the majority of these teachers go on to teach with us at the CLF. Um, and we're really pleased with that as principals have been able to recruit strong NQTs. The programme starts in August each year um, and we have a, a really great moment when the trainees come into the CLF and they watch the Year 11s opening their GCSE results and we hope that this is the inspirational start to an inspirational course which tells them why teaching is so important um, and why we want them to be the best possible teachers to make a difference for our students here in the South West. Um, we also run a Teachers for Tomorrow programme which has attracted a lot of interest nationally and this is for post-16 students who are thinking of going into teaching um, and there are currently four NQTs who did the Teachers for Tomorrow programme, then went to university and then came back to train with us on School Direct. Um, another key area is leadership um, and we have a licence to deliver the National College Leadership Programmes. This includes middle, senior and MPQH. Um, this has not only been great for our own staff, um, but we've trained around 231 leaders from across the South West. Um, and it's really good to see leaders from other schools come onto the programmes. Um, it's a really great way to, to spot that um, talent that's out there. And some of those leaders have since gained promotion either in their own schools um, or they've come in and joined the CLF. Um, school to school support is very important in the teaching school. Um, we have a large number of SLEs, 45 SLEs, um, and around 33 of those are from Cabot Learning Federation Academies. Um, and they're all deployed, I think that's the key thing to say, they don't just have the badge, they're all deployed um, between around half a day um, and two to three days per week. Um, they organise our Federation network nights, um, and we cluster them into teams such as English and Maths, Inclusion, Science and they provide support for our academies and schools within our alliance um, and that's decided on a priority needs basis by talking to the principals and the exec team um, and the, we, we kind of look at the impact of that work um, and those SLEs are key in our drive um, to raise attainment for all of our students, primary and secondary. Um, so in summary, um, remaining a teaching school is really important for the CLF and for our wider Teaching Alliance schools. Um, there are at least 13 schools involved in our wider Teaching Alliance and more joining. Um, so John Cabot Academy maintaining its outstanding status is really key. 
Um, but the structure of the teaching school has meant that we spread the workload um, across our academies and across all of our federation schools. Um, there's no doubt that teaching school has helped us to look outwards as well as within the federation so that we can learn from the best practice out there and it's also enabled us to have access to a number of grants and initiatives um, and we're really pleased last week to have been designated a national maths hub and we're looking forward to working with other hub schools to drive forward outcomes in mathematics. So lots of opportunities and lots of benefits for the CLF and we hope more widely as well. Look forward to talking to you more about the teaching school um, when you come for interview with us. Hello, my name is Mandy Milsom and I'm an Executive Principal for Summerhill Academy and Froome Vale Academy. I have been at Summerhill Academy for seven years and during that time we have been on an amazing journey together. We recently had our Ofsted inspection and we achieved good across the board. I am particularly proud of the positive comments the children made about their school and how they feel safe and valued. I have an enthusiastic and committed staff team who have all worked tirelessly to get Summerhill to where it is today. The children are wonderful and every year we hold Summer Heels Got Talent and I never cease to be amazed by their amazing singing, acting and comedy talents. Um, as part of our incredible journey we joined Cabot Learning Federation and this has been an amazing experience. We're fortunate to be able to work closely with primary and secondary colleagues to make sure that we achieve our dream which is to provide an outstanding education for all 6,000 pupils in our care. I joined Broomvale Academy in December 2013 at a time when it needed additional guidance and support. Over the last six months we have made incredible progress and this was recently acknowledged by a visit from the Department for Education who could see all the improvements and changes that we have recently put in place. At Broomvale we are a Thrive based approach school. We care deeply about the children's emotional social well-being and I have a group of committed and enthusiastic staff who work tirelessly to ensure the children's needs and cares are met. Our SATS results last year for Key Stage 2 were disappointing and we are hoping that this year they will exceed all expectations and that we will go on to be one of the most improved schools in the country. Again, being part of Cabot Learning Federation has been amazing. It has given us the support and guidance to help us make the, make the rapid improvements needed.